Hi guys and welcome back to Mo's Munchie Box. So today we've got a different kind of video to usual. So usually we'll just look at one place, go through a few of their items and then let you know how it's like. But for this video we've had a few different emails coming in. Um, some have been like, oh, what would you recommend as best chip shop around Central Station? And some have been, what well, one specific person said, all the chip shops around Central Station are bad, which one is the worst? Uh, so basically we went for the two chip shops. Um, so we've got Pizza Crolla and then we've got Blue Lagoon. So these are the two that people are referring to as what one's better or which one is the worst. So we've got fish and chips from Pizza um, this one is Blue Lagoon, as you'll see from the underside of that box. And a chip comes flying out. So that one is Blue Lagoon. And then this one is Dino Crola. Um, price wise, Blue Lagoon six ninety five for fish and chips. Eh, sorry, five ninety five for fish and chips. And Dino Crola £7.20, but they give you a can of juice with it. We got a can of Coke. Um, so I would say the Coke's not really worth £1.30 by itself as I can, considering they get it for like 24 for £5. So, similarly priced, both adequate for what you'd expect for city centre prices to be like. So, the way we'll do this is I will try a chip from Blue Lagoon, I'll try a chip from Crowlers, uh, and then we'll smash into the fish as well. Already, I can see like which piece of fish is looking a bit healthier to me, if I'm being totally honest. The fish from uh, Blue Lagoon has more cover to it, whereas the texture on the one in the Crolas is looking a bit suspect, but it's all about the taste. So, without further ado, let's just smash into the chips. Um, so, the other thing I will say, first of all, is we literally got both these meals ourselves about two or three minutes ago. Uh, tried a couple of chips from each one as soon as we got out, and in all honesty, to be fair to the respective restaurants' takeaways, the Blue Lagoon chips, if they were a wrestler, their name would be Steve Austin because they were straight away stone cold. <coughs> um, and that's literally since we got them, cameraman sitting there like, wow, did you say that? But I've got to be true. Um, so we'll start with the squish test then. Like that one even was like freezing cold, so I'm not gonna lie. On heat, etc., like Blue Lagoon, the epic feel. On the count of three, one, two, squish! So, you, like, that's a clear pass in terms of being cooked properly. Uh, it's even burst on the side and the potato being still fluffy in there, despite it being a bit cold. Um, they definitely passed the squish test. Well done to Blue Lagoon on that. Might not give us our food hot, but at least the chips are cooked. That last bit which I used to eat was epically undercooked to the point that uh, the back end of it was just quite squishy, wet, still potato -y, like hard potato, uh, massive feel. Not that many room, trying to find a big room. And in fairness to Crowler, um, theirs are actually still hot, so they're directly on Hope Street outside Central Station on the side of it, so let's get ready to squish a hotter chip. So on the count of three we've got the squish test for Crowler. Three, two, one, squish! As you can see, not as much of a squish on that one, like yes potato has came out of it, but it's the chips are tougher, um, if I'm being totally honest, even to the touch. Like, You could use, you use one of these guys' chips as a bit of a weapon. If, camera, if you've got a cameraman and he gets wide with you, like, they are definitely harder. Um, Taste-wise... Taste, uh, purely because Blue Lagoon have gave us cold chips, it's difficult to say taste-wise what they would have been like if they were hot, because they were nice and fluffy, it's still fairly soft and inside. Uh, whereas the Crowla chips are hot, but they're a wee bit harder on the inside. So I think if these guys had maybe left them to cook for a little while less, these could have been the winner of the chips. Definitely, squish test goes to Blue Lagoon, heat of chips goes to Crowla, but overall chips, I'm going to give it to Blue Lagoon, even though they're a bit cold. Um, so next thing, let's look at the fish. 
Uh, so just going to get the cameraman to zoom into the blue lagoon fish first. So you can see this is a more healthier golden colour around here, which is what you're wanting it to be if it's been cooked properly. There are not really any burnt patches. Um, it is darker in the middle because there seems to be more batter on the middle of that just to hold the fish together. Uh, so let's just crack into there. And it is absolutely rock solid, but it's cold as well. Uh, so Quantity of fish, hardly anything. Quantity of batter, considerably lots. Yeah, that's the wee bit, like, I don't know if that camera's picking that up, but where's the fish? Um, it's pure batter, absolute pure batter. Uh, like, so I suppose this is the quantity of fish that was in here. Right. So, to determine how fresh the fish is, if it's got lots of flakes in it, you know it's fresher and if it's turned into like a longer lumpy piece of hard fish it's not the freshest fish um i'm gonna say straight away on that it doesn't look that fresh it doesn't smell that fresh and the fact that it's not flaky like that i would say that's not very fresh in the slightest um it's very tough uh, there's not a lot you can say about that it does not look great let's see what it tastes like It tastes like, <laughs> uh, definitely doesn't taste like a quality fish, I would say, uh, that would score very low for me, I would say maybe like a 2 out of 10, a 3 out of 10, <laughs> generous, um, definitely nothing happening for that fish at all, let's just hope the Corolla fish is better, otherwise man has wasted approximately £13 of the cameraman's money. Um, so let's look at the Corolla fish. If this doesn't beat that, I will be massively shocked because anyone can beat that, but really, really bad. And I can see why some people do have it down as like it's one of those places because they're around Central Station, they know they'll get people coming in. So they kind of take advantage of that with the quality of their food, knowing that people will buy, so they don't push the boat out on. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, just like what is that about like let's be honest like it is just all batter um not acceptable and definitely wouldn't pay 5.95 for that again cold chips old dodgy fish okay let's hope this tastes a wee bit i'm not gonna lie this is hard as well uh well i suppose one reason why the, ch the fish from both shops could be hard is because with these kind of places being bang in the city center they probably make really large batches of food uh, hoping that people will come in, and if, if people don't come in at the right times, then you're kind of done. Whereas places like Merchant Chippy and Merchant City of Glasgow, they make the food fresh as you walk in, so they've got a massive advantage in terms of food, flavour, everything. Um, it's, yeah, this is... So again, you can see it's large quantities of batter, like there's no fish there. Uh, there is fish here, so let's have a look at it. So you can see that this one has broken into small flakes as soon as I've touched it. So their fish does certainly seem to be a lot fresher, a lot healthier uh, in terms of how long it's been lying there. Yeah, that one's just coming apart in much smaller flakes. But even if I crush that, you can see like there's one flake. There's like that one, like they one hand side on the fish. Flavour wise that's actually quite nice, um, I will be br brutally honest about it and say it is quite hard on the outside in terms of the batter because I think it's got overly crispy, uh, it's clearly been cooked at the wrong temperature but the fish on the inside is actually still quite nice, yeah, it's still got a bit of heat in there as well, they definitely win in the fish side, um, so overall who wins this, I'm going to say <laughs> Krola in it. <laughs> Not how much, because I don't think either meal was anywhere near the level that I would be kind of expecting. But at the same time, I appreciate that both these places are more bulk orders places. They have the food ready to go as a convenience for people working in offices, people are getting off trains, people are quickly running on trains. So there's maybe not as much care with the quality of food. 
Um, so yeah, that's we have it. So that's a victory to Corolla about over who's the best chippy out of the two that are around Central Station. And for the person who asked which is the worst of the worst chippies, then sadly it's got me Blue Lagoon uh, on Gordon Street. Food, truly horrific, and definitely wouldn't buy that again, even if they were giving it for free. I wouldn't take it. If it was a pound, I wouldn't pay for it. Uh, but I would definitely give Corolla another chance based on the fact that the fish is actually cooked. Chips might be a bit hard, but they're still edible, they're still warm. Uh, overall then, I suppose that's the review. If you've liked the content, please do subscribe to the channel, uh, drop us a like and a comment even. If you have been to either of these chippies, do you agree with what I've said? Or do you have a different opinion? Um, is there anywhere in the world you have tried worse fish and chips than Blue Lagoon at Central Station? Uh, let us know. What we will do, for, or what we will certainly try and do for our next video is a place in Shoggins called Beagles. Um, a lot of people have been asking for it, so hopefully we can get that up before Christmas. As one gentleman said, it would be the best Christmas present ever. So we'll try and get that sorted for you next, and I hope you tune in for the next video.